banged up, both dealing with injuries and a couple of changes, of course, in the offseason. Uh, which quarterback, you can include them, and kind of go rogue and go <laughs> across the map here, which quarterback, in your opinion, is doing the most with the least? Who's doing more with less? Okay, it's tough for me to answer this question because every time I hear this, I feel like I'm taking a shot at the talent surrounding these quarterbacks. But, you know, to answer it honestly, I feel like a quarterback that we've been critical of this season and throughout his career, Matt Stafford. Matt Stafford has had these moments where he looked like one of the best quarterbacks in the league. He looked like he was ready to take that crown and go from being middle of the pack, top 10, to possibly top five QB in this league. But look at this individual right here. Don't we miss this already? Oh, yeah, we do. Golden Tate was one of the <laughs> best receivers that he's ever played with. He's one of the best receivers in getting yak yards. You know what yak yards does for a quarterback? So they trade away him. He got sacked 10 times. He played the Vikings. Matt Stafford, he's, he's working with less and trying to do more, which he, is why he's struggling. He hasn't had an offensive line his career. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, guys. I mean, he's dealing with Marquez Valdez-Scantling and Ecomenius St. Brown. Like, like, you know, Aaron Jones, and all, uh, Ty Montgomery takes it out of the end zone. Like, I feel like Aaron Rodgers, as much as I'm an apologist for the guy, yeah. it, his teammates can't get out of their own way. Mm -hmm. Fired Alex Van Pelt, who was his favorite coach over yep. the offseason. And no, he doesn't have a Josh McDaniels in his ear. No offense to Mike McCarthy, but I don't know if he's got the same ingenuity as a, Mc as a Shanahan mm. or McVay. Mm. Go, go ahead, okay. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to go with a guy who doesn't have Paul Richardson for the year or Chris Thompson or Jamison Crowder who's making Capri Bibbs and Maurice Harris's guys, and it's Alex Smith, and he has his team at 6-3, and three, two games ahead of everybody mm -hmm. else in the NFC East. He's not doing it flashily, but he is doing it without turning the ball over, which is what he does. It's Alex Smith. Yeah. He always does it. I'm going to go with Andrew Luck. There was a time when he was like me on dial-up in my 20s. All he had was Hilton. Now, let me say what he has. He hasn't played in two years. He has a new head coach who was a replacement for another head coach, a new coordinator, and no running back in the top 25, yeah. and no wide receiver in the top 30. He made Eric Ebron, Eric Ebron. That's Andrew Luck. Incredible season. Modem joke? Modem joke, Modem yeah. Joke. <laughs> Back on Good morning.